Hi, in this video we will see how to set up and track one of the simplest possible funnels. A funnel consisting of an opt-in page and whenever someone subscribes he's going to be redirected to a rotator sending him randomly to one of three different offers that we will specify. So let's see how to set this up inside Optin Dojo. Go to the funnel section, click add new funnel. Let's name this um, opt-in to multiple offers. Then if you have a custom tracking domain, uh, select it here. Uh, I highly recommend you to add a custom tracking domain instead of using uh, the default one. So for the opt-in page, <coughs> uh, I'm going to name this one opt-in one. Later I can add uh, different variations if I want to split test. I don't have any page ready, so I will just show you the logical steps. Uh, because the way you will set up uh, or create your different opt-in pages or bridge pages if you use any will depend on the page builder that you are using. So let's say that my opt-in page uh, is located at this URL. Then I do not have any bridge page. When someone opt-ins, he's going directly to one of three offers. Uh, so I'm going to skip the bridge pages tab here and go to your affiliate or own offers. I want to have three different offers. Let's say that my first offer is uh, called offer one. <laughs> Very original. The second one, offer two, and then offer three. And for each of them, I would input here my affiliate link. Offer one, offer two, and offer three. Let's imagine that uh, this offer is from ClickBank. So offer, sorry. Clickbank.com. So I would put my uh, Clickbank affiliate link here. And for tracking the conversions, I would click this button. I would select Clickbank in this box. And then I would follow the, the instructions here to uh, complete the tracking on, uh, the Click, on Clickbank's side. Then the conversions, every time someone will buy this product through my affiliate link, uh, Clickbank will send a message to Optin Dojo and the sale will appear in real time in your statistics. Uh, let's say that offer two is from Warrior Plus. So similarly, I would track, I would click the button track conversions here, select um, Warrior Plus, not Clickbank, Warrior Plus. And I would follow the instructions here in this video to see how to connect Warrior Plus, my Warrior Plus account, with um, for, for this specific affiliate link. And similarly, the sales will be tracked in real time. And offer three, let's say that it is my own offer. So this time I would say that this is my own offer here. I would get um, a tracking pixel to place on the page that comes after someone uh, purchases the product. So let's save this funnel. Now, now that it is saved, we see that a new box has appeared just above the funnel, uh, the funnel settings. We now have some instructions for setting up our funnel. So the funnel is consisting of the opt-in page and when someone subscribes, he's going to one of the following offers. And when he subscribes, we want to track that uh, as a new lead in, uh, in our opt-in Dojo account. And to do this, we need to use uh, the new lead redirect here on the opt-in form. So let Let's go back here. In your page builder, you will um, edit your opt-in page. And where you have the form here, where you can enter the email address, you uh, have a way uh, somewhere, uh, depending on the page builder you are using, to define which URL this new lead is going to be redirected to. And the URL that you want to use for this redirect is this one, the new lead redirect. Uh, if you had uh, a thank you page after the opt-in, instead of sending directly to the offer, you would have a second, second option instead of using the new lead redirect. So instead of changing your form settings to redirect to this specific link, you could also put this HTML script on your, uh, on your thank you page. And this HTML script in all cases must also be placed on your opt-in page. So you have two things to do on your opt-in page put the HTML script here 
in the header or in the footer of your uh, opt-in page. There are uh, options to do this in all page builders. Uh, some page builders like lead pages, for example, do not allow uh, to, uh, do not give you the, the ability to place pixels in the footer. Some others do not give you the ability to place it in the header, but you um, normally should have the ability to put it in uh, at least one of them. So it doesn't really matter where you place it. You can put it in the header or the footer, depending on uh, what your page builder allows you to do. So for the opt-in page, I recap, you put this HTML script in the header or footer, and you use the new lead redirect on the form. Uh, so when someone subscribes, he's being redirected through this new lead redirect. And when you have um, bridge pages defined, this new lead redirect will send the visitor to one of your active bridge pages. If you do not have any bridge page defined in your funnel settings, but you have uh, offers defined, then this new lead redirect will send your new leads to one of your uh, active offers. This is all you have to do to track the front-end funnel. What I call the front-end funnel is this. So someone comes to your opt-in page, after subscribing, he's going to be redirected to one of the offers. And thanks to the um, uh, conversion tracking, if he buys any of the product you are promoting, then the conversion will be tracked and appear in real time in your stats and attributed to the right traffic source that sent you this converted lead. For tracking the emails and sales coming from emails, we will see this in a different video.